Hi guys, how the heck are you? Now the other day I did a video on how to collect money that is owed to you from a customer and still be a nice guy. But today I want to discuss to you how to prevent that from even happening. All right, I'm Jay Burnham and I'm with therealjburnham.com and how the heck are you? And I'm here to help all small businesses be bigger businesses or get off the ground. All right, so if a if you get into a situation like I explained in the the, the previous video, where um, a customer ends up owing you money and you need to collect from them, there is a way to actually prevent that, and that is called a contract. Uh, paperwork. It's called a contract. Having a contract at the beginning of the service before you do any kind of work at all you have a contract that lays out the exact details of what you're going to provide and what you're not going to provide how much that's going to cost them for you to provide said services and what they can expect in any extras that may or may not occur so by having a contract you can actually solve any problems in the future now, as a mover, I had to learn this the hard way, as I explained. Before I had contracts, I would just explain all my prices and everything uh, verbally over the phone or actually in person, and it got me into trouble. And then I found uh, a way to do it, and that was having a, a contract or a bill of lading is what we call it in the moving services. So I basically mocked up my own billing bill of lading and here's mine and this is from a, a move that we just done recently and it we you know we have the person's name the date we're going to start the service the day of the service the address we're moving them from the address we're moving them to a couple different phone numbers over here we have the times we start we end and how the total amount of hours it, it delay delineates how many vans we're going to use, if any, how many men we're going to use, what kind of job, is it a labor only, is it a long distance, uh, out of state, so on and so forth, what time they're expecting us to arrive at their location. It also gives the name of the movers. But I have a little box right here in the middle, right, right there, it says important. Be, sign before any be, before you begin any service, and it basically it, it basically tells the, the customer, okay, here's everything we're going to provide to you. Uh, you know, if it's a local move, here's the time we started. Here's well how much it's going to cost per hour, so on and so forth. And they sign that before we actually begin service. If they don't print and sign it. We don't begin service. We don't begin service until they sign it because there's a couple things that they have to, to read on so that they understand what they're getting into. For instance, over here in the red, we explain we don't, don't insure TVs unless they're in uh, the, the original box or they're in an approved uh, TV box, which you can buy at U-Haul or other different places. Um, it also set, and it also gives uh, what will happen if you fail to pay or your check bounces. And we wrote down bounce checks or failure to pay can result in the payor, that's the person doing, we're doing the move for, being prosecuted by law and charged with associated court fees and NSF fees and charges of three times the bounce check or failed payment amount so if they fail to pay i have a contract that says i will go collect three times the amount of the bill so if the bill turns out to be a thousand dollars for uh, an all-day move which is very possible and they refuse to pay me okay fine we don't argue with them we don't we we don't mess with them we don't call the cops no nothing that's okay, fine. They signed a contract when before we started, so that they know that we'll go and do, you know we'll just go on our way. And then once the paperwork comes back to me, I'll go to the court and I will sue them. 
and I will sue them for three times the amount. Now, this is really can get really expensive for somebody. One, they got to take the time off to go to the court to defend themselves. And they've got the contract which says we're doing the service. So they have to pay. And they cannot use the excuse, well, I wasn't happy with the service. That's not part of it. Well, but before we'll do that, though, we will try to work with the customer. If, if the customer just can't pay, we'll try to work with them. We'll try to come up with a payment plan. We'll come up with some way. But if they're trying to scam me or they're not happy with the service, I will bend over backwards to try to make them happy. Or, But if they're just trying to scam me, it's game over. Um, but if they're if they're not happy with the service, I'll bend over backwards to make sure they're happy. But I have a contract that says that hey, they gotta pay up, and if they don't, I'll take them to court, whether they're happy with me or not. If they're not happy with me, me taking them to court isn't gonna make it better or less. It, it's just you're gonna get your money, and you're gonna get three times because. Um, it just, that's the way it is. It's in the contract. It also explains how much insurance. If they write the insurance down, um, you know, if they want evaluation insurance, they can write that down and then they they're, have access to the insurance. If they decide not to do that, they then they're automatically given the least amount of insurance possible and everything else is up to them. But it basically gives the prices uh, of the of the move um, and any extras that might be so if they want storage or packing, etc. But that's what I do. And I know that this will translate to any business out there. It doesn't matter if you're a doctor, a, a chiropractor, or an attorney, or your landscaping company, or your photographer. Get it in writing before you begin any services. And it tells and you know that gives the exact what you will do and what you won't do and for what the price is by doing this you can prevent most complaints against you or lack of people trying to pay you so you don't have to have that um problem now again if it's because the customers um are not happy with you i implore you try to make it right all right that is your first first step Try to do whatever it is. If you broke something, fix it. Um, whether it costs you more than what the insurance is going to reimburse you for or whatever, doesn't matter. It's better to have a, to make no money and have a very satisfied customer than it is to have a pissed off customer and have all the money. So that's my personal take on it. And this is just to give you an idea of what you can do to prevent people from owing you money. Okay, so it's not an end-all be-all, but it is a good solution. So let me know how it works for you. If you don't have a contract, then are you going to get one or so on and so forth? But anyway, let me know how any kind of stories that you might have regarding this. Leave a comment below, all right? Um, please, you like the video, share it with all of your friends, and don't forget to subscribe, all right? God bless. Have a great day.